Oh man, I, I don't have a good feeling about it though, because okay, even against LeBlanc, even if you try to poke her out, she can just counteract the poke by coming in with her distortion. She does have backup, now Fixer walks for Tucson's really greedy about this, but there's Atlanta, he gets headbutted back though, and Tucson is caught on to score. Score's just gonna get the first blood, gets the red buff back. I think that your Rengar's gonna Oh, pull. but the flash is down. There's Chump the Waters, there's the challenge smite, and someday going in for the burst, he is gonna get the last auto attack after the trickster comes down. Does he distortion over and he's going to? Oh ah, he doesn't choose and does get the smite. Getting a kill would be even sweeter, and he's being really patient, but here comes Ignar trying to deny the lantern. Oh, he just pulverizes right on top of it. It goes away right on time, and Apple goes down, and the kill going to someday. This is exactly everything that KT wanted someday wanted. And he asked for it, he got it, and Score is gonna get caught. He didn't ask for this, but there's a teleport coming from someday. Tucson gets locked up by the chain. Nagne taking a lot of damage from Frozen. There's the Equalizer, but he dodges out of it. Someday trying to chase through. The chain of corruption will proc onto him, and he will get snared. Now he has to face off against Apple, but he's still doing a lot of damage. Flame Spitter comes in. Roar picks up a double kill, though. Clean up duty for Roar. Now should be able to get the second stack for their Dragon stats here. At 18 minutes, 19 minutes, to score looking for nobody. In the mid lane. Oh, he's gonna catch Frozen, though. There's the snare, and there's the chain. Chain of Crusher coming out from Frozen, though, with a lot of damage onto Nagane. Score does manage to finish him off with some extra attacks early on. It didn't really work out Here too we well. Go. Here's on the hunt, though. They're trying to find a target. Frozen flashes out, but that means Flash is down, and Nagane just gets his own chain there. Chain of Corruption onto Arrow and Fixer. Not gonna matter. Score's ult's almost back up. Uh-oh, Apple. Oh. Apple just gets obliterated by Nogni. He doesn't hit his E, though, so Apple is going to get away for now. Flashes out of it. Arrow being slowed down. Someday, at the thick of things, he barely gets out. The Silver Bow is proccing. The Roar gets one kill, two kills, and now he's charging forward. Flash used by Arrow. Score did absolutely nothing in that fight. He ulted and then walked around to the back line and never came out of invisibility. They're no. coming. Yeah, they're actually just gonna walk all the way up. They don't even want to teleport back. They just want the kill so they can get the Baron. Score on watch duty here in the jungle. He's gonna find Tucson. They're gonna see Ignar and Tucson gets knocked back by Fixer. Somebody should be able to finish this dragon yeah, at this point. And then he'll just play for Trickster out. I'm, I mean, the Viz, obviously a threat, not from a magic Oh, dude. Ignar gets caught, and that is it for that support. Teleport coming in for Apple after the Glacial Prison. Nogne might be just equalizer right here. There's a shield coming in from Fixer. It's not enough as he has to walk across the entire length of the equalizer. Score also going to go down. What a good teleport in from Apple for the double kill. We might actually see three kills here for LZIM. They're gonna jump out there's on the hunt activated. No glacial prison now. Could have been able to take that with the training force, but he's just gonna keep pushing that bottom lane. Lanes. Oh, but here's a someday. He already used Playful Trickster, so here comes Roar. Can he get the Condemn? Actually, they're just gonna flay him back. There's the Condemn, and someday just cannot get damage onto Ignar, nor escape. Good catch by LZIM going completely for the round flank. With the wave clear from the loot. Oh, oh Nagne goes in, but it actually allows Arrow to be caught as Nagne bounces right back. And LZIM is gonna get an inhibitor just like that. One mistake is all it takes. 40 seconds until Arrow respawns. What more can LZIM do? Now Dragon uh, being hit by LZIM. They should be able to take it fairly quickly. And Nagne going in. Oh, Nagne steals it though. Gets the third stack for KT. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think really KT can make this Here happen. And here's on the score, flashes forward, gets the snare, but nice equalizer and Glacial Prison on the three people. Arrow on the side, Nagne has to jump out of the fight. And Roar at full health, here he comes, headbutt backwards, but he's still ready for more. Frozen gets one kill. Flash over from Tucson to keep Fixer lined up. And Nagne has to jump out far, far away from the fights. Really nice condemn though, onto LeBlanc, knowing that LeBlanc was going to be yeah. coming over the wall. And that'll be it. Looks like a surprising upset 2-0 for LZIM tonight. Wow. Well, it looks like uh, they're going to back out for now. They want to play it super safe. Chusin, much more in tune with the team today. Not going on. I mean, he had a couple mistakes in the jungle, but just a couple and also some miscommunication from both sides, I'm sure. Well, Nagane is still on duty to save the game. He can't hunt into zero Ignar either at this point. Now they have to deal with a bannered minion on their last turret. That's not gonna last very long. Here wow. we go, Nagne. 
Still trying to get in on the side, yeah, but... Only can't get rid of that minion It's either. over. It's one of those games where I am might actually win with a gold deficit. Oh, very convincingly, too, at that point. I mean, they're grouping up so well. Here comes Score once again. They jump on, but look at the equalizer tonight. The four people being burned down by the equalizer. But a double kill for Nogni. He catches Roar as Roar separates from the team a little too far, trying to get away from Fixer. And KT pushes LZIM back. They get four kills a minute down. Apple just trying to waste as much time as possible because there is an open inhibitor in that top lane. Someday, Someday he's on a mission. Yeah, he's just running towards that, and so is Nagane. Apple eventually going to go down to Arrow. They're going to get an inhibitor in the top side, so a new lease on life for KT, at least for a few minutes. They have a dragon lead, too. This could be a lot worse. Meanwhile, wow. Sivir, are they going to get two inhibitors? Well, 15 seconds left. Ignar they is might. alive. Yeah, oh, with oh, Arrow well, Ignar, there. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's, hey, not, that's not going to do much. Oh, no, they're not going to yeah, be too greedy. Nogne considering pushing down that bottom lane. So LZIM says, all right, let's just let's just burst it down. There's the Equalizer. Who's going to get the Dragon? It's going to be something. Four stacks for KT. Arrow doing free damage. Nogne comes in with the Distortion and the Chain. Not gonna hit, but Arrow gets a kill onto two since somebody just drawing out some damage up front. Arrow gets caught by the Hill of Arrow, so there's the burst coming in from Frozen. Roar at 100% health. The Trinity Force gonna do damage, and here's the headbutt pulverize just to allow his teammate Nogne to run away. Someday and they're in Nogne a war. And score. Uh oh. Goodbye, score. Gets it. Nogne waiting on the side though, but they're gonna get flanked. Oh, the Zonia's bait from Apple. It's gonna be a double kill. Frozen and Apple clean up that one. <laughs> this is everything my, you dreamed of. My last memory of champions is just a disaster <laughs> from KT Roaster giving me a peek into solo queue once again, reminding me <laughs> what life will be like. See, when you pick like the LPL, you become the LPL, Chobra. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Well, uh, fair enough in 120. I am playing this very carefully. And Lee Sin would have been better. <laughs> I do think Lee Sin would have been better, and Score plays Lee Sin. I'm surprised they didn't pick that. But an easy Baron and an army of crazy looking super minions charging in. Pokey can't trying to force LZIM out of this, but I am really wants to finish the game at this point. Fixer trying to keep all his minions healed up. Something going in. Nogne goes in for a lot of bursts, but it's not really showing on the enemy health bars. There's an the equalizer across the board onto the minions. Apple does get overheated as he just zonias under the tower, and Fixer has been chained of corruption, and Nogne just has to run away. Somebody gets a kill onto Roar, though. Roar is down. Somebody runs out. Fixer goes in for the headbutt pulverize, and Nogne eventually goes down. That goes a little too deep for that burst. The Nexus is open, but Someday gets another kill. He's on a killing spree. Well, Monty, I am glad I have an action-packed <laughs> game as possibly my last game here. Well, the Dragon has spawned. It looks like LZIM will just take that easily unless Nogni comes in for another steal, but LZIM not giving that option to him. This time with Ignar on the backside. Ooh, the inhibitors are back up. Oh, man. KT has another window. <laughs> Pink board right outside the base, and here we go. Score jumps in with the Guardian Nation. Equalizer comes out. Everyone's already over. Tucson jumps onto Dogni. Roar is at 100% health in the back, along with Frozen, but Arrow gets to shut down onto Apple. Somebody's onto Roar. Arrow gets a double kill. Somebody running out of the fight, and Frozen gets to shut down onto somebody eventually, and there is literally no damage left until Nogni comes back in, but Frozen and Roar are still alive. Score still even has his Guardian's Angel. But they can't kill the Nexus until they kill the Inhibitor. Yes. So they got the inhibitor. the inhibitor. And we'll be looking at Baron fight number four. <laughs> or number three. I don't even know anymore. Uh, KT can't push the enemy base. So on the hunt, everyone rushing forward. And can he get the Baron? The box comes in. And the Baron goes over to LZIM. KT does not get an early kill. They don't get Ignar right away. Arrow's going to go down eventually. He has to flash out. Somebody does get a kill on to Frozen, though. And look at this. Roar on the run from Nogni. He's trying to lifesteal. Nogni gets the kill. Where's the damage left on LZIM? Can they Apple finish? Apple has to run away. Someday KT. has GP. Somebody's going to go back. The fans are going wild for KT. Oh. KT should be able to finish this. Brave. I think yeah, they the, can. Yeah, they're just going to go. Even if the turret's there, that's where the minions are. Somebody making the right choice. It's just Apple, no equalizer. Ignar, sure, he's there, but it doesn't really matter at this point when all five members miraculously made it out alive for KT Roaster, and they will get the win and tie up the series.
in this best of three against Longju I am. It's going to be tied 1 1. We have tears of, I don't know if it's joy or just disappointment in the League of Legends <laughs> that we've seen in game number two. But KT with an epic 56 minute win. Well, 